I mean, I would probably just play Sheik. But <laughs> I, I don't know how would like in general it would fare or Sheik fare. What about Sheik fare? Sheik fare? Sheik fare is a fantastic. <laughs> um, Battlefield game one. Honestly, I don't know what to expect out of Zelda. I feel like Cloud's gonna have lots of time to charge his limit because Zelda is too slow to do anything about it. Yeah, Zelda is a uh, not a great character. But Ed makes her look like she's actually I mean, legitimate. She's <laughs> not the worst character in the game anymore. That is true. I mean, having a kill confirm is nice. She doesn't really have a kill confirm. The down throw to up air isn't a real thing. Like kill percent. It's a 50-50, isn't it? Not really. Not really? No. That's uh, just how much of Zelda knowledge I have. Yeah. But you do have down throw up air at like 4% at some points. And you have down throw to narrow at low percent, which can lead into like a fair bear if they don't air dodge. This is, oh, that's, oh a, that's a stock. I mean, Ed was looking to bait him into doing that earlier and aired up through it, getting a punish. But, uh, a really solid forward smash, and he has Seabrick off stage. Oh, and he had the read on the Batman. On the Batman? Yeah, he calls it Batman. All right. <laughs> I'll roll with it. I don't have any other Zelda players to tell me otherwise. <laughs> yeah. It's clearly not actually named Batman, but that's what Ed calls it. Oh, I really like that air dodge into neutral B. Like, I don't know what Zelda has in this matchup. Like, it just looks really sad. Oh. Oh, oh. and he incorrectly oh. upbeat. He got the angle wrong. He can't be happy about that. I'm not happy about that. That looked like an intentional footstool, though. Um, it might have not been. It might have just been him trying to run off and do the side beat, the cross slash, like he had ended up doing anyway. Ed contemplating his life. I don't know if he wants to go to Sheik, though. I mean, you don't want to. But you want the W. I don't even think it's that. I don't know if he. Uh, I feel like he understands the, the Zelda Cloud matchup. Um. Okay, he's gonna play it. I. Maybe I run it back. I just. God, that was bad. <laughs> yeah, but it. I don't know what Zelda's supposed to do. Like. Well, she's got he, stubby little legs. She should. She should be able to get down airs like decently well. On Cloud's recovery, like is it disjointed? Like I don't know. <sighs> I feel like this. Oh God, I just don't know. Like I don't know enough about Zelda, but I just that match looked bad. Uh, All right, good down tilt to forward tilt. I mean, I feel like he just wants to beat Cloud's approaches and then punish, and that's like all he can really good do. Good falling there into forward tilt. I'm surprised he didn't go for an up tilt. Like he gets, Cloud gets the limit for pretty much free because Zelda's too slow to run after him. He can just run away and charge the limit. Yeah, but uh, Ed does have a lead right now. I mean, he's just playing really, really smart. He's, he, I'm, I mean, I feel like you should just let him have his limit because you're not going to do anything about it. Just throw, maybe throw a dense fire to make him stop for a second. Like, I don't know. And this is the sort of situation where Seabrook is going to throw out a class. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Uh, look at those. Batman. Yeah, but like I was going to say, as Seabrook was throwing it out, that's the sort of situation where he throws it across last, where he's like not going for air dodge reads on the... Uh, that's that not a thing. really strong, though. Yeah, that he actually... We saw Ed get that on Zaltus, not last week, a few weeks ago, I think. Yeah. Multiple times. Like, down tilt into up air. It's not a true combo, but if you don't air dodge, it's going to hit you. I mean, that's a 50-50, basically. Yeah. But the... Oh, oh he missed the ledge cancel. I actually think it was because... The power shield? The power shield. Ooh. Does he go for the elevator very often? I don't know. I don't I don't necessarily think so, but... I wouldn't I be mean, surprised uh, if we saw this set. Like, a falling there into, like... I mean, it's really rough on the stage because he doesn't have any platforms to retreat to afterwards. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. my God. That was such a good back air out of shield. And he's just... It's not even a challenge of Moff. Oh my Up air kill? No, okay, not quite. Another one of those is going to do it, though. Yeah, but Seabrick has him at 53%. Oh, okay. the air dodge. Oh, mama. <laughs> that just makes his character sick. look good. That was sick. I'm just, I'm looking at Zelda like, yeah, I'm going to play Zelda. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, looks like I'm going on Zelda next week. Yep. <laughs> I mean, Zelda confirmed better. Like. Yeah, Zelda, um, it actually didn't get even mentioned for, um, 
Zelda and Zero's video. It kind of hurt. Yeah, it hurt, hurt everyone a little bit. <laughs> and just like uh, Myron not getting or Myron not getting Olimar, like no, I'm saying Ed didn't even get mentioned. mentioned. His name didn't even get like brought up. Yeah, God, it's really depressing. Now you bring to it up. be fair though, Angbad technically does have better wins, but it's just because of the region he's in. I think Angbad and Myron's anyway. We can talk about that. Skills are very very comparable. We can talk about that. Either way, one one, game three, on Dreamland. Cloud versus Ooh. Zelda. Ooh. Zelda in winner's semis right now. <laughs> At a 110-person tournament that's actually stacked. Oh, that was... Look at these strings. Oh, my God. He's just calling out all of Seabrook's offensive options. Yeah, just barely misspacing on some of his offensive options. Wow. Okay, so he just got falling there into down tilt, into up tilt, into up air. Doing, like, a solid, like, 30% maybe? Oof. How did that hit? I don't know. I'm just I'm not even questioning what Ed's doing with Zelda anymore. Because it's all it's, it's all good. It's all foreign to me. <laughs> Ed is maybe at cross slash oh, kill percent. I thought he was just run up enough smash. That would have been insane. I think probably not from center stage, but at the edge of the stage I think he's at kill percent from cross slash. Can we talk about Seabrook's movement though? Yeah. Oh, it's so crispy. And, and then wow, <laughs> wow, Ed I'm calling that jump. I'm trying to compliment you, Seabrick. Yeah, How and Ed, do is, that to me? Ed is like, mm, yeah, I think he's going to full hop right now, and I just, I'm going to hit him for it. I mean, full hop there and there are uh, both pretty good cloud neutral options, so it's not too hard to call out. But uh, falling up air, I feel like it's going to beat out a lot of Zelda's options. Yeah, oh. Must, oh, and let's jump to back air. It is a thing. If the cloud knows how to back air quickly, it should like actually hit like you can't avoid it. Oh my god. Oh he's got a stock lead. He could go for something crazy. Yeah, I honestly thought Seabrook was gonna go for an air dodge into like his up B read. Oh, and Ed Ed is calling out everything. I'm surprised Ed didn't actually call out the uh, the high recovery because uh Seabrick doesn't wanna lose his limit if he doesn't have to. A dash attack right now from Zelda, a forward air, will put Seabrick in a very bad position. I mean, with this much rage, like, Lightning Kick's looking pretty scary. Yeah. Up air's also looking pretty scary. But the thing is, Cloud can throw it. Oh, oh okay, my. that's a stock. That Killed him at 80 after hit. He too stocked him. Ed he is popping off super hard. He was 65 before hit. He was at 65%. No, I don't even think he was at 65 yet. He went to 81. Oh, God. And he was charging a smash, which increases his knockback. Oh, God. Wow. Oh, I mean, that pop-off oh, wow. pop was...